How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. You know this guy. That is Will. This morning we are driving around looking for spots. It's one of those days you dream of, just an absolute slicker. The water's kind of dirty, but um, a lot of times on days like this, you just want to run, run really far or do something epic, catch something big. But a lot of days like this, when it is calm and, and nice out, I spend the day uh, looking for new areas. A lot of people ask me how I get my spots. A lot, a lot of people ask me if they can buy spots, which I don't sell spots. Um, I cherish everything I have just because I know how hard I had to work to get it. Um, so today what we're doing, we have, I got the new Ginu and I put side scan on it. Simrad has a side scan transducer. I've never had side scan. I don't know, um, honestly, I don't really know how to work it yet. This is my first time using it. So this is what I'm looking at. So today, gist of today is figure out how to use the side scan hopefully find some new spots um, there's only a few way to find a few ways to find spots I get that question all the time how do you find such good numbers and either got to buy them from somebody have a friend that'll give you some or you have to put the hard work in and, and find them yourself so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna sacrifice today we're willing to waste it if we have to um, we're driving around looking around so I'll show you what I'm looking at again never use this this is I'm about 45 minutes in I haven't really marked anything substantial yet but essentially what side scan is is your your traditional transducer or bottom machine just marks straight up and down this shows me the bottom this is my depth right here I'm in 19 feet this is the flat bottom what side scan does is it shows me so this is the right side of the boat it shows me everything over here out to almost 80 feet out that way and then this is the left side of the boat or the port side of the boat and that shows me everything 80 feet out that way so because of that it gives you the ability to mark stuff that is not just directly under the boat so again that was a lot of talking this early in the morning but i wanted to explain what we're doing we're going to waste the day if we have to but we're going to drive around and hopefully find some coral heads or some ledges or something i'll keep you posted so we haven't found any rocks yet, still driving. Um, but I wanna show you something cool that I just figured out. So that is a crab trap. I don't know why they're still out here. It's out of season, maybe just got washed away, but I just drove by that buoy and you can see, barely see the line and you can see the little square. That is the trap laying on the bottom and it was off to my side. So that is really cool. That lets me know it really picks up a lot because those crab traps are maybe I don't know, 18 inches wide and tall, but that's pretty neat. And also on a side note, if anyone knows the law on removing traps out of the water that are left, because crab and lobster are out of season right now and there's just traps everywhere. I understand they get washed out of line and some people lose them, but if there's any FWC officers out there that know if I'm allowed to remove them or at least open them up, I hate that they continue to catch and kill crabs and lobsters. I'd be interested to know. So I just got a little shallower and you can see these big, I'm assuming rocks, have shadows on them. So I can't show you, but it'll show you the coordinates, but I'm going to mark those. I can click and drag my finger. And we're going to go back here in a little bit and jump in on them. All right, so we have been driving around probably two and a half hours or so. I actually marked quite a few uh, rock piles. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drive near them, show you what they look like on the uh, side scan, and then we'll, we'll jump in the water and show you what they look like underwater. So this is one we found. You can see I've learned that shadow means there's something blocking the side scan's view, if that makes sense. So all those big shadows, and you can see the little lumps those are all rocks so that is our first spot we're gonna anchor up and jump in and show you what it looks like under the water <laughs> easy bro to put, a, put a spear through those things <sighs> I was messing 
messing with you. I said, oh my gosh, there's like a hundred yellow jacks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back underwater, everybody. This video wasn't crazy action-packed, but hopefully someone learned something. I learned a ton this day. Uh, it was my, like I said, first time using side scan, and uh, I found some new spots, which was really cool and always exciting. Cool to be able to see it from the surface, what the sounder's marking, and then get underwater and see what it actually looks like. Nice big boulders, tons of life. It was really cool to see. And um, I mentioned it later, but um, I'll say it again, just in case you miss it. Uh, I'm gonna put the, a link for the transducer and the unit that I was using. A lot of you guys leave those comments and ask. So I'll put that in a, maybe a pinned comment or in the description somewhere. Check this out though. I'm gonna install a bonus critter. <laughs> bonus. <laughs> <laughs> So this is called a spider crab if you're not familiar. They're not very pretty but they are delicious and there is a way to dispatch them. A lot of people like to cook them alive. I just don't have it in me so I do dispatch them and this is a male and you can tell by the bottom. I should have showed you a little better but you can see the little flap there. A skinny flap is a male, a big wide flap is a female. Um, but you go right in the, the tip of it and turn, put your knife in there and turn and it dispatches them pretty much immediately. And they are delicious. So a little bonus critter on the first spot. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see it from the top and then I'll show you it from the bottom. You saw the underwater footage. We're gonna run into another spot and jump back in and show you what it looks like. You can see all the rocks kind of all over. This one's maybe a little more scattered, but super cool. Like I said, first time using side scan. This is really neat. Um, I know a lot of you guys like this info, so I'll put uh, links for the, the actual transducer I'm using and um, the size unit, the size samurai unit, unit I'm using as well. So, um, but you saw it up here. We're gonna jump in and check it out. So I was just cruising around. wasn't really on a mission to sink the boat and fish or anything this day. We just, like I said, wanted to get out, test the side scan, and just happened upon another spider crab. I know they get these in other countries and they get really big, and we actually do get giant ones uh, out on the reef, but they're really hard to get to. They're normally deep into caves. Uh, I, I really, really want to go out and do a, a night dive on the reef in the deeper water. Um, they come out at night. It's something that I haven't filmed before. Just waiting for the right weather window, but on occasion you'll see some de decent sized ones. This is like a medium sized one compared to some of them we get. Some of them we get are absolute monsters. But I hope they'll get out there and do that one day. You can see same, see a little better angle there, how I dispatch them just above the flap, knife in and turn, and like I said, it takes them out pretty much instantly like to dispatch everything we harvest.
I don't know about you, but I'm having spider crabs for dinner. <laughs> I can't remember if I said it. These are spider crabs. We have three main crabs down here. Blue crab, stone crab, and spider crab. Of all three, spider crab are by far the ugliest. But man, are they delicious. They're probably my favorite to eat. They're just difficult to crack. They're not pretty on the eyes. Or easy on the eyes. But man, are they delicious. Two males? Yeah. They're nice ones though. Look at them, dude. Yeah. I'm stoked. Uh, you want to throw them in the ice? I'm stoked. No, nah, I'm going to leave them out. Cook them right when I get home. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty happy. You want to hit another spot? I would, lo I would love to. <laughs> Will really wants to shoot a fish. It's kind of murky, but um, we're finding some good stuff. This is uh, it's a lot of fun. And I mean, look at the conditions. Like, it's unbelievable. Let's be quiet for 10 seconds. Wow. <laughs> it's so quiet, your ears ring. It's unbelievable. But yeah, we're gonna hop in on another spot and maybe head in soon. So after I jumped in on this spot, I actually realized I have this number already. Um, I spend so much time out there, I recognize my spots. I know where the holes are, where the fish hang out. Uh, it was kind of funny. I, I stumbled across this spot and uh, really actually saw some decent hogfish, but this is a really, really nice one. I only take a couple a year. I still think they need a little bit of help, but I decided to let this one swim. Save it for another day. We are done out here. We're gonna head back. It's actually only 11:30 in the morning. We've got a couple of nice crabs to eat. Saw some decent fish, but I'm happy with the crabs. I'll leave the fish for next time. I'll show you how we get these cooked up when we get back to the house. I may run back out this afternoon. This is insane. We'll see you there. Sweet home. Some days it's hard to believe this is my real life. It truly is amazing. What you think, Tipsy? Kind of hot, huh? Get these crabs cleaned up. All right. So I clean these like I would a blue crab. I take the top off, clean all the the yucky out before I cook it. Um, I like to do it with some gloves because they do have they're fairly blunt on a lot of the the shell, but there are a couple sharp points, so uh, it's best to use gloves. And what I do is kind of um, grip the the big arms and just get find a point that you can grab a hold of a little more difficult than a blue crab is sometimes they're a little stubborn there you go give that to the canal fishes get all this stuff out and I actually cook the bodies and the legs separately I feel like and this could just be my head in my head. I feel like if I cook, if I steam the body, I get a little more meat out of it. It doesn't sh shrivel up as bad. Or maybe it's just cook time. I don't know. But normally I boil the legs and the claws and I steam the bodies. And a lot of people say meat comes out easier if you cook these alive or any crab alive. I just 
I don't know. I don't have it in me. As long as you cook them the right amount of time, I notice it's still fairly easy to get, get the meat out. There we are, ready for a pot of boiling water. I'm going to, I can't remember if I said it. I boil the legs and I steam the bodies. I feel like I've had better luck that way. Could be my imagination. I feel like when I boil the bodies, the meat is a little overcooked and kind of just shrivels up. So I'll probably do the legs. Um, this guy, maybe seven minutes. And then the body is about five on the steamer. Alright, so I'm gonna try five bodies, seven legs. Alright, five minutes on the bodies. We go another 45 seconds. Alright, six minutes on the bodies. You want to have an ice bath ready to go. I like to anyways. I don't, I don't let them sit in there. Some people let them sit in there for 10, 10 minutes and come all the way down. I just want to stop the cooking. So not very long. 15, 20 seconds. Just stop that outer layer from cooking because if it continues to cook, the meat will dry up and get sticky. and the claws have such a thick shell I'll let them go about a minute in the ice bath because they do take a little longer to cool off so unlike uh, our stone crab you can't really cr crack these with a spoon so I use a hammer a lot of times they have really really thick shells I may have overdone this just a hair the meat, the meat is sticking just a little bit, but the spider crab meat doesn't need anything. It is so sweet. You can dunk it in butter if you like, but it's one of the best out there, I think. Show you one of the claws. Really tough shells. And the bodies, just like the other ones, they have. There's a bunch of meat. I'm gonna pick through all those. This a little tedious. Yeah, I overcooked them just a little bit, but still delicious. Hmm. I don't even think they need butter or anything. So good. Needed maybe a minute or two less. That's okay. Still comes out. Mmm. Tuna, you want some? Yeah? Tell me. Where you at? Tuna. Yeah, come here. Some crab? But that is all I have. Thanks for coming along, as always. Madeline was not able to make it today. She's actually doing an open house today for one of her listings, but. As always, any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I will see you in the next one. Mm. What do you think, good? What do you think, Tuna? You a little bit? Tuna, hey. Mmm. <laughs>
said, oh yeah.